When I was just a kid, I uh, got in my aluminum boat one day and I left West Arm and uh, the house we used to live in and I went all the way up this creek. I'll switch around for you. I went all the way up this creek, about six miles to my friend Andy's place. Might have been longer, maybe eight miles. And I went all the way up there with my 15 horsepower Chrysler outboard motor on the back of my 14 foot aluminum boat. But right now I stopped to look at this little ice jam. Kind of surprised I, I didn't think that it would jam up downstream of these culverts, but in fact it is. You can see it funneling straight ahead, uh, where it's making it, the water's making its way, and it's depositing ice. I don't know. The water has gone up a good foot since I started standing here, um, but you know that's five or ten minutes ago. Um, so it's going to give way, and I was hoping to get, catch it on, on film. But yeah, I went all the way up this creek, and all by myself, anything could have happened. When I think back of all the things that I've done like that, it could have been bad. Anyway, I'm behind, uh, I'm on the back roads between uh, St. Charles and West Arm. On the gravel roads, there's a highway that goes from... Uh, St. Charles on through to uh, Noelville and then out to Alban and then Highway 69 where you can leave Sudbury leave for Sudbury or Toronto which, whichever way you want to go but this is uh, God's country out here it's real nice there's our little car there's the road to St. Charles the back way like I say and there's the actual ice jam This is the road that uh, turns, you can go whichever way. Uh, you can go right here and head out to the main highway, which connects St. Charles to Noelville, or you can go left here, and you can go to Victoria Camp or Muskie, uh, Muskie Bay Camp uh, on the Lake Nipissing. And uh, Lake Nipissing has uh, Sturgeon Falls on its north side and, and uh, North Bay on its east side. I'll walk a little closer here, and uh, and uh, we'll show you this ice jam. It's uh, jammed up right at the uh, narrow spot down there, and like oh, you can see it flooding to the left now, starting to uh, water starting to flow flush over to the left there. I think this is going to give way. I really do. I think this is going to give way and make for a bit of an interesting video. Nice and quiet right now, but when I first started out, that spot that's open to the left was not like that. I wanted to show the upstream part first. And just in case you can't see by the video, that is the downstream spot there. I'll get a little closer here. think this is going to give way and go like hell in a few minutes because that spot that is there's pressure building the water level is going up a good foot since I stopped here now so maybe this has been cycling like this for a while I'm not sure but you don't often catch an ice jam like this and it'd be kind of fun to watch it let go if it did Anyway, once again, <clears throat> well, not once again, but I was brought up out here. Um, my family moved here from the USA. Um, I'm a um, I'm a dual citizen. Uh, three of us, four kids, are dual citizens. Um, we uh, three of us were born in the USA. My parents, when they got together down in uh, Windsor, Ontario, uh, things weren't going so well financially and, and so they slipped across the border where you could at the time you could sign on the dotted line and get a house pretty quick and lots of jobs so they went into the states and we were there for 12 or 13 years and then uh, well they decided to move back up here and we uh, grandpa had uh, split 
his 750 acres that he had, um, uh, lakefront pieces and then the farm he sold a bunch of other parts of it off but uh, we moved on to one of those pieces of property and built so that's where I was here this is home for me since I was um, 11 years old both of my grandfather's grandfathers were pure Indians from around here. So I'm a Métis, fifth generation. Just caught it. Maybe this is interesting. I really think it should give way. Let's see what happens here. It certainly is a beautiful day. We just had our first visit to the French Fry, capital of either Ontario or Canada. I don't know, but Larry's chip stand in Sturgeon Falls, Ontario is pretty famous. And anyway, we went there today. It's open now. Usually it's open a little bit later, but it's open now. So we slipped out there, and then we went to look at the 12 acres in West Arm. And everything's fine there. back I thought I'd take the back roads and then I saw this ice jam and thought wow that's pretty interesting but yeah only one car um, this whole time this whole video uh, well I guess I wasn't recording when the, I, I did I got you when the car was going by I uh, decided to wait until after the car was gone to start filming here and, uh, so there's only been that one car on both of these roads so it's pretty quiet. It is Sunday though. It is Sunday and gas is expensive so people are probably sticking around home pretty good. Anyway, yeah, as a kid I thought one day I had lots of fuel in my old boat and I wondered if I could make it to my friend Andy's place and sure enough, I went through these culverts with my boat. Of course the water would have been lower but it was just right if I remember. And I didn't have to, I didn't hit bottom or anything. And then right out through the culvert, under the road, out the other side, and all the way to my friend's place. I am, honey. Ah, uh, another two minutes. Well, it's going to get way down there, I think. Well, the left, way down there, it's starting to build. If I had a big enough boulder, I'd give it a good toss, and I'm pretty sure the wave just might trigger the whole thing to let go, but I looked around and can't find any boulder of any size. Maybe I can find something, a uh, big stick or something around here. Maybe I'll make a snowball. But, you know, let's let, let nature take its course. Come on, baby, let go. I want to show some people the crazy ice flow. Let go. It's not going to, is it? Well, I know it will eventually. I do know that. There's a lot of pressure building down there. Let's see if ice is still coming down. Because it was a while ago. And I would think that would have caused it to back up even more. Yeah, I think that water level's gone up again since. Yes, it certainly has. It's building in there. But it wasn't there a little while ago, so it's definitely still going up. And the ice is still coming down. But it's finding its way. You can see that it's... I mean, if this whole thing was blocked, it would go up awful fast and go right over the road, I suppose, after a while. But uh, the ice is going and jamming up still now. Somehow, finding. I guess the ice is traveling through underneath with that because there's quite a bit of flow, I guess. Still, somehow, but look at its path. So it's still going up. It's certainly going to let go. It'd be fun if it did. 
fun video if it did. If I had a gun with me, I could shoot that down there. Of course, people that come out of the woodwork pretty quick. still flowing so it's finding its way isn't it? sure in my younger days I would have ran around there and thrown something at it. And if there wasn't a foot of snow out there, I probably would. Well, we do have another vehicle, finally. Oh, there he is. Dodge truck. Yeah, I guess so. You don't think, eh? All right, then. Well, I think it's more about pressure and luck. Yeah, that is true. Well, she has a point there, I guess, uh, Uh oh, sweetheart, it's going. It's going. It's giving way. <laughs> I got it. Ah, everybody, look at that. Look at it go. I did. I know. I don't know. I just. I better be quiet so people hear it. Quick look above. Look at it come out of the culvert, like straight what was in the culvert, what was stuck in the culvert is coming out like a big like a big cigar. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that something? Well, it's probably a cycle. It probably does it once a day or twice, three times a day or something. Well, it's just luck, I guess three or six or nine or twenty-seven pieces got into that narrow spot down there and just found their way to hold everything back. Yeah, as, yeah, like as if, uh, yeah, that's a lot of water and a lot of 
tons of ice. Well, that was fun. Somebody down there is getting a lot of water now. This will probably cause another ice jam because there's so much ice at once. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It is. I'm glad you were right about that. I knew you knew. You're amazing that way. It is. It is pretty. Yeah, way down there the water level sure is going up. I'd say tit twisty for sure, my love. Uh, right to the lake, uh, West Arm Lake. Um, Victoria Camp is where it comes out. Sorry? See, fun for sure. Yeah, probably not. I think he might have been long dead by hy hypothermia and oh, right. Yeah, well, I'll go above and have a look. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, the water level has definitely dropped on this side now. It's flowing good again. Well, everybody, that was kind of fun. I'm going to go back and take one more picture over there. And I'm going to grab a couple stills just for fun. I should have took some stills before this. I guess I can capture them by screenshotting the video anyway, somehow, I suppose. Anyway, everybody, that was fun. Have a great day, and we'll catch up soon. Abbott's Place, signing off.